right now, the United Way of Madison County and Alabama A&M University are working on a community-wide needs assessment survey. They need volunteers who can help others with a language barrier or disability complete a survey. In addition to volunteering, News 19's Emily Forrester has one simple way you can get involved and help others in Huntsville and Madison County. Kathy Miller with the United Way of Madison County is joining me in studio now. So Kathy, your agency has a really big project that's underway right now. We are doing a huge survey to put our finger on the pulse of need in our community. And so Emily, it's uh, something we only do every three to five years. Mm -hmm. So it's really critical. We've done a lot of research with our partners at Alabama A&M that are looking at hard facts about the condition of people in Madison County. And that certainly is an influencer in how we work in the community, but we also want to hear that voice, that individual voice that may have experienced something, they may see needs where they volunteer, they may see needs in their neighborhood or with their family, they may be experiencing a challenge, maybe they are new here and they don't know where to go for resources, all kinds of people we want to hear their voice. So who all can fill out the survey? Anybody that's a resident of Huntsville or the entire entity of Madison County can complete it. It only takes about 10 or 15 minutes. What kind of questions will we be answering when we're going through the survey? So a lot of, there is a little bit of demographic information. We're not trying to get in your business. We just want to understand that we're meeting uh, all the different types of people that live in our community so <laughs> that they all have a voice. But most of it, the meat of it is just questions like, what are you seeing in your neighborhood or in your sphere of influence? Maybe in the area of education. What do you think is a big challenge for our growing community? Or maybe uh, in the area of financial stability with housing or with food access or whatever that may be. How exactly does the needs assessment impact what you all do and how you're able to help other people through various nonprofits? When we decide where are we going next as United Way of Madison County, we're 80 years old. We're not the same United Way we were in 1943. The needs are different mm -hmm. in this community. So we are going to look at that and set new goals if we need to that will target those greatest needs. And that's where our focus and influence will go. So that's a lot of assurance for people that give to United Way that we're going to spend the money smartly. Mm -hmm. And it's lovely to know that we've got great talent among the community to come together with us on that. So our arc of timeline is we'll be finished with this study in August and be published in the last quarter of the year. And the beautiful thing is it is not a United Way centric study. Where can our viewers go to fill out the survey and kind of share their perspective? It's very easy. You can either go to our website, uwmadisoncounty.org, and right there on the front page is a button. You just click on that and you're right there to the survey. All right, thank you, Kathy. And we have the link to the survey as well as the link Yay, to uh, the United Way of Madison County's website on our website, whnt.com.